Hello again, Chargers. Today is Friday, May 6th. I'm Sarah Rasmussen. And I'm Lizette. Today, Today on, on DP, DP News, News, prom announcement, Friday Night Live, assessment lab hours, <laughs> and more. Prom is only one week away, but right now you're watching DP, DP News. News. On Tuesday, there was a runoff for senior class historian, and the votes conclude that Anya Schmitz was the winner. Just a quick reminder that today is the last day for seniors to turn in their graduation speeches. Starting today, prom tickets will be on sale at lunch in front of the athletics office. They will also be on sale all next week from May 9th to the 13th at lunch, and on Thursday and Friday after lunch until 3.30. Credit cards are accepted. Check the website for prices. Now over to Scotty G with today's raffle. Seniors, have you bought your after prom tickets yet? Today's the last chance to get six chances to get your name in this box to be a grand prize winner. Some of the top grand prizes are an iPad, a Chromebook, $500 in cash, $300 in cash, $200 in cash, and a bicycle. So there's a lot of great prizes, better chances to win if you buy today. Tickets are $15. Today you get six chances to win. Next week you will only get four tickets to go in this box. And today's winners and claim your prizes in P2 are... Carissa Mertens, Alexander Ordev, Yu Quan Chan, Anayazin Mascara, Carly Coons, Ann Bailey, Patrick Capavia, and our last winner is Rodolfo Belmont Belmontes. Claim your prizes in P2, buy your after prom tickets, and prom tickets are also on sale today at lunch. Thanks, Scott. Friday Night Live will be hosting another Swag Swap session next week on Tuesday, May 10th, and Thursday, May 12th during lunch in the Greek. Bring any clothing or merchandise that references drugs or alcohol and you will receive a t-shirt, beanie, or pair of socks for free. Now check out this video. Hi, we're Friday Night Live and we want your drug and alcohol clothing. Bring us your drug and alcohol clothing or merchandise and swap it out for our own merchandise for, for free. free. We will be hosting swap sessions on May 10th and May 12th at The Greek at Dos Pueblos High School. We will be accepting shirts, hoodies, hats, socks, keychains, and anything with alcohol and drug references. Don't have anything to swap out? You can purchase our t-shirts, beanies, and socks while supplies last. Shirts and beanies are $10 and our socks are $3. We are also selling stickers for 50 cents. For more information, please visit our website at www.becommitted.org or follow us on Instagram at Santa Barbara FNL. Thanks, guys. DPHS's very own student, Seneca Boli, won the national competition of creative writing in French. Now over to Ashley to ask Seneca a few questions. Hey there guys, I'm here with Seneca Bully who wrote a creative writing piece in French. Can you tell us a little bit more about what the prompt was about? Yeah, so the prompt was imagine that you're a thousand years into the future and you find something from our days and um, what were your reactions to it, what do you think about it? So I wrote about um, a little boy finding a bullet um, and he's kind of a lonely boy but it's supposedly in this world without war and it's kind of referencing the gun violence that's going on. It's kind of controversial. And yeah. how was it difficult to write it in French? Um, yeah, there were a bunch of words that I didn't know that I had to look up, but um, it was pretty fun just to kind of learn how to put together a piece in French. And yeah. Nice. And are you going to do any more writing pieces in French? I'm not sure. I might do next year when I'm in AP French. I might try to do the same contest again if they're offering it but um, I'll just keep my options open for now. <laughs> nice! Thank you so much Seneca and congratulations! Are we good? Thanks Ashley and congrats Seneca! The deadline for community service hours for all seniors is Friday May 20th before 3 15 p.m. 
In order to graduate, a minimum of 60 volunteer hours must be completed and turned into the Career Center. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, if you're looking for community service opportunities to do over summer, please stop by the Career Center. Attention all percussion players! Auditions for the Fall Marching Band will begin the week of May 16th. The schedule is as follows. May 16th, Battery Clinics from 3 to 5 p.m. May 19th, Pit Percussion Clinics from 3 to 5 p.m. Talented pianists are also being looked for. And on May 20th, auditions will take place from 3 p.m. until finished. All clinics and auditions will take place in the band room in P3, and the audition music will be available very shortly. Stay tuned and to avoid treble, see Mr. Rose with any questions. You should scale back on your flat puns. Really? I thought it was sharp and clever. As you may already know, the assessment lab will be in use most of next week by students taking final exams through DSPS. Since the lab will not be available for assessment testing during our regular drop-in hours, students seeking to take their placement exams next week can choose one of the following options. Tuesday and Wednesday, May 10th and 11th, drop-in to begin testing between 5.30 and 6 p.m. The lab will remain open until 9 p.m. Friday, May 13th, the lab is open for drop-in testing from 8.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. All tests must be completed by 1 p.m. And Saturday, May 14th, group exam in room A211. English begins at 10.45 a.m. while math begins at 1.15 p.m. An appointment is required. We'll see you there in the Career Center for more info on how to register. Yesterday, the 35th Annual Partners in Education Students Award Breakfast was at the Bacara. 23 of DP students were recognized for their accomplishments in career technical education. They were celebrated in front of business and political leaders from the community. All of the videos for the presentation were created, created by Junior Sia Erickson. Congratulations to all of our students for their hard work. Juniors Andriana Tuvarez and Emma York will be holding a fundraiser to raise awareness for people with invisible disabilities on Saturday, May 7th from 2.30 p.m. to 4 p.m in the hall of St. Barbara Greek Orthodox Church. All proceeds will be donated to the, Invisibil to the Invisible Disabilities Association. Come show your support by participating in various activities or donating to the cause. Hey DP, have you bought your yearbook yet? I have. If not though, you can go to dpyearbook.org. That's all we have for your campus news today, DP. Now we're to Jeffrey and Dallas with your sports report. Hello, I'm Jeffrey Chow. And I'm Dallas Flannery here with your Sports Report. On Tuesday, our Division II Southern Section CIF girls lacrosse team had their first ever CIF playoff match against Lorena in our stadium. It was a very tough game for our team, but our girls battled through the tight game. Ultimately, our girls lost a very close match 9-8. We had goals from four different players, Jaime Sharpe, Becca Baxis, Jessica Delgadillo, and Mika Henriksen. An amazing defense from goalie Carly Schwan, Chloe Wells, and Tara Van Horn. Our girls ended their strongest season yet as a DP sport, 10-3, and three, for, a regular, for the regular season. On the flip side, you remember that boys lacrosse game match that was postponed back in March? Yeah, that one. Our boys traveled to Malibu High today to compete for that match. Wish our boys luck. Also on Tuesday, our girls softball team played on our field for a non-league match against Camarillo. Our girls played hard, but were unable to beat Camarillo in the 8th inning, ending a close match of 2-1. Nova Sinsko led the Chargers with their only point with, a double, with an RBI double in the 4th inning. Our girls enter their last week of regular season being 72 in Channel League and need to beat Ventura twice next week to be co-Channel League champions with Buena. Wish our girls good luck. On Wednesday, our baseball team traveled away to face Harvard-Westlake. Harvard-Westlake is ranked in the top 100 teams in the nation. And in a close game, our boys fell to Harvard-Westlake 3-1. Dustin Demeter drove in the only run of the game and went 2-4. for four. Julian Amador pitched 3.2 innings of scoreless relief, and Evan Kling was 2-3. for three. Our boys are still in first place of Channel League with a 6-3 record. Their next match is against Ventura on Monday at 3.15. Also on Wednesday, tennis traveled to SB for the Channel League Individual Doubles Tournament. Our three pairs of Miles Baldwin Vince, and Vincent Villano, Bryce Ambrose and Ryan Hodese, Kellen Roberts and Ryan Rennick all represented DP well. The pair of Miles Baldwin and Vincent Villano are heading to the semifinals today at No World, at no World Tennis Club. After being in the number two seed and only losing one game in their two rounds against two, in, against two Ventura pairs. Good luck, boys. Today, track and field travels over to Ventura for Channel League. 
Wish our athletes the best of luck. All right, today in the Greek, we got jousting. My audio is whacked up, so here's a video I improvised. Good morning, Chargers. The southern part of the San Andreas Fault is locked, loaded, and ready to roll, according to Thomas Jordan, director of the Southern California Earthquake Center via Fox News. The San Andreas Fault runs about 800 miles long, nearly covering the entire length of California, though the area closest to Los Angeles is the most concerning. In a report presented by Jordan, it was noted that sections of the southeastern area of the, of the San Andreas Fault haven't moved since 1680, making the overdue earthquake stronger as time passes. Jordan said via the LA Times that it's important for California to focus on becoming resilient to a potential huge earthquake, one as strong as a magnitude 8. In other news, Governor Jerry Brown sent a bill on Wednesday to raise the legal age to buy tobacco from 18 to 21 years old. California is the second state to pass a law like this, according to KEYT, and it's aimed to discourage teen and nicotine addiction. The law will be in effect starting June 9th of this year. That's all for today, DEP. I'm Ann Bailey. Have a great weekend.